Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I'm glad you joined me today because today I'm building you a flower. A flower just for you and you and you and all the people who are watching. Flowers for everybody. Actually, there's a little bee on it as well. It is really adorable. So flowers and a bee for everybody. It's really, it's really cute and really simple. So it's not going to take us long, but it's going to be the most fantastic little display flower when it's finished. So we've got a purple pot and it's lined with white and a for even that's simple, I still, you know, have to concentrate on making sure I'm putting the pieces on the right places. And these little grey pieces have outward facing studs, which means we're going to be lining something around the edges. And, oh, here we go. So we've got some medium tone purple or lavender, whatever you call that colour. It's different to the dark purple anyway. So rounded edges for the top of the pot. And over here, there's a little feature bit that's going to go on the front. It's really cute. But first up, we're going to smooth over the top. So it's all smoothed over, matching dark purple with the bottom. And on here, isn't it lovely? Isn't it so simple but lovely? On the front, there is a little heart, which is basically, well, it's a buildable heart. And it's basically the only way you'd know that this is, well, a friend set. It's not really a friend set as such. It's just got a heart on it and it's flowers it's so cool oh and here I am look in fact this pot is exactly the right size for my mini doll me <laughs> so I can hang out in here and uh, and then we can put some actual flowers in and I'll have to get out which is okay because don't belong in there <laughs> anyway got a nice big lime green stalk a yellow bottom to the flower like a little yellow bowl and the flower itself, so we got all these little, we're lining the sides here with outward facing studs so that we can put the petals on the outside, but right in the middle, these little pink flowers are going to be making kind of the stamens or whatever you call those things that, are they called, I suppose they're kind of the stamens. And the oh, red petals all around the outside, so I think this might be, is it a tulip or is it a rose, like a rosebud? I'm a bit confused by the yellow bottom of it. <laughs> I suppose you do have that variation in colour as you go up the actual flower. Isn't that lovely? I'm busy smelling it. it. Smells like Lego, surprisingly. Not really surprising, but we need another flower. So let's zoom through the other flower because it's exactly the same as the first flower. Exactly the same. Like, there's nothing different. So let's get it all put together. In fact, I even knocked over the stalk at exactly the same time as I knocked over the stalk when I built the first flower. Isn't that pretty? Isn't it so pretty? There's just enough room in here, not for me anymore, but for two, oh, for two roses. That's so beautiful, but we're not finished yet because we need a little bee. We need a little bee to buzz around on the top. Just give you a little sense of danger, but the bees, a bee is very important. So even though the bee has a stinger, the bee, very, very important. In fact, that little black bit on the back is going to be its stinger. And little white wings, and I don't know what the grey tap is for. I assume it's just to actually attach the bee to the flower, to the rosebud. That's so sweet. It's really, really sweet. And here, I told you I got the flowers for you. So here, take them. No, take them. Hold on, I'll bring them really close. Now take them, reach through the screen and take... Take, actually, they're way too big for my mini doll me. <laughs> so my mini doll me has got an idea. Let's try making a mini doll sized version of this pot and the flowers. So she's got some, well, I've got some, I'm having an identity crisis at the moment. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm me or whether she's me. No, hold on, I do know. So we've got white on the bottom. There's dark purple in the middle and it was lined with white on the top and a bit of lavender there. And then a pink heart on the front. And then we just need the green for the stalk, the yellow for the base of the flower, and then the rose on the top. And that looks super duper tall and kind of weird. So even though we've matched the colors really well, it doesn't look very good. So maybe we should take off, let's take off some layers here. Uh, let's take off, let's take off, uh, just the green stalk still looks weird the pot's too big so let's take off some of these this white square here totally did not use my teeth to take that off Shh. and still too tall so with the with the white bits off this actually looks this actually looks like mini doll size this is so much better and it looks enough like the big pot that if you put both of them side by side you'd know that this is a miniature version of the big lego flowers and the only thing it's missing now is the bee on the top so let's see no 
I don't think a spider's gonna make a good substitute for a bee. <laughs> the spider cannot, oh, the spider looks a bit sad that the spider can't hang out on top of the rose, but no, no spiders on top of the bee. That's just wrong. But we did, we managed to make some flowers today and they're so pretty and I hope they bring some joy into your day today. I hope they make you happy for the whole day at the very least, maybe even for the week. Now, before you go, make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave me a comment and that's it for today short and sweet just like you actually you might be like tall and feisty or medium height and lovely whatever you are you just keep being you because whatever you are is awesome and i will see you with another video very very soon <laughs> bye